Coming off a loss of Bulldozer Power against the Stardozer Human Resources, and uh, we've made a few changes to the batting order. Uh, Malibu's moved up to fourth now. Uh, SpongeBob back in the mix. Uh, Big Rod McGurk had his chance, is now sitting down. Uh, Hatchet, we're hoping for better things from Hatchet. Uh, she, she's capable of much, much more, uh, but uh, she's on a she's on a last chance. Crampons, for whatever reason, always seems to uh, accomplish a little bit more. Anyway, we're at home, and uh, it's Olivia Chakakan first up to face the mighty Desmond Eyeliner, uh, who's uh, he's not our strongest pitcher, but neither is he the weakest. Strike one, lovely, good way to start the day. Uh, let's uh, try one of these. That's handy too. And, uh, and we'll put a bit of a sinker in, just to finish him off. No, oh, and it was close though, wasn't it? Wasn't it close? Well, she's stuck that one in the sky. Steve Morey, who is a little under the weather, starting to show uh, a bit of fitness decline there after a couple of games uh, in charge of the plate. Uh, next up, we've got Dick Frisbee, and uh, Des was going to see what we can do about that. Uh, nice, efficient uh, first at bat there. That's, that's what we like to see. Stick a curve in second. <laughs> How they could call that a legit pitch, I've no idea. Um, but uh, but there it is. Let's try one of these. No, that's gone foul. Um, I do I do like a swinging pitch. It gives you a lot of flexibility vis-a-vis -vis the uh, where do we stick it in the uh, target centre. That one's gone. Uh, Zoltan feels it. He's got it. Yeah, okay. Go on, Zolt. Good lad. Okay, two away. Uh, here's Valerie Hammock. Uh, something of a sibling rivalry going on today. Uh, she too has tiny little feet, but she too is she's actually tiny. The uh, the smallest of the Hammock sisters. Spongy, no. Paypal. Well, it's a it's a nice catch, but a terrible throw. Yeah, yeah. You should have thrown a second. Yeah, I know. I pressed the wrong button. All right. Okay. Well, a two base hit given up there. Um, well, it was worth it, I suppose. I mean, it was. It, we allow it. Uh, Lemon Kevin will be trying to capitalise on the runner on second, and uh, we'll see if he can, or not. Up no, oh, ball one. Okay, right. Come on, Des. Let's uh, let's let's put them away. They got two outs. How how difficult can it be to get a third? Come on. That'll do. Mori to first, and the side is retired. Uh, gave up a hit, but uh, that's okay. We don't mind giving up a hit. Um, okay, so uh, pitching uh, for Stardozer is uh, is going to be former Bulldozer leading pitcher Professor Fita, and uh, he's going to uh, he's going to take on Cindy. Okay, all right, that's what you're made of, is it? Okay. Yeah, no, that's a bit low. That one. Come on, Professor. Give me something sturdy. Well, that was sturdy. Uh, Cindy couldn't quite get enough on it though, and she's uh, she's out. Uh, Kojak up next, batting 550 uh, for the year. Isn't actually our leading scorer in terms of runs batted in. No, no, she's not. Second. <clears throat> yeah, I might have had a quick look at the stats before we picked off, and that's pretty much the only one I can recall. Kojak there with a the nice bit of fielding from Triffids. Uh, and uh, if it wasn't for an error there by the first baseman, uh, she would have been out. But it was an error and is out. No, failure is our leading scorer. But, I mean, that's going to be at least partly due to who's ahead of him. And that's going to be a double play. Not quite. All right, failure gets on base, but it comes at a loss of Kojak. Here's Hatchet. Just needs to get on base to build a confidence back up again. Um... But against a pitcher of, uh, of Feetum's quality, that might not be the easiest. Strike two. I, I felt good about that. Uh, they're looking at failure to see if he's going to try and, uh, and sneak an extra base. No, come on, Hatchet. Come on. Uh, that, one's, uh, that one's well wide. Hatchet now waiting for something sensible. Uh, ball two. We're on strike two, obviously. And they're going to they're gonna continue doing that. Because uh, failure is uh, is always a risk of uh, of trying to steal an extra base, um, despite the fact that I'm so unconfident. Whoa, dearie me, um, I'm so uh, inconfident. Anyway, I was got foul. Pick the controller back up. All right, okay. Oh, forced an error from the pitcher. Hatchet has done enough. No, 
If Hatchet moved a little bit faster, she would have got on base there. Uh, but the side's retired. We got, a, we got a hit or two out of it, but it was a bit of a scrappy inning. Um, anyway, next up is Ingrid Matrix, uh, batting 2-1-9 for the season. And uh, we'll, we'll see if she's, uh, she's brought her, uh, her gameplay stick with her today. Cindy! See, you could have jumped, Cind. Uh, instead, we're going to be giving up a pair of bases there, which is not exactly what we want to see. Cindy a little slow off the mark. Could have could have made a play, but didn't. Here's Charlie Choo Choo. Uh, he's, uh, he's batted in one run, batting one six seven in the season. Um, but, uh, well, you never know. That one's gone foul. All right, okay, come on. Let's, uh, come on, Des. I know you're not the best pitcher we've got, but uh, do your best anyway. Strike two, very nice. Desmond Eyeliner there, putting some, uh, putting some stink. There we go, and a strikeout. Uh, Big Des putting it away. Here's Eunice Ultramarines, uh, plays right field. It's got a, quite an upright stance going on there, but uh, but ultimately the stance doesn't... No, no, they were going for third, not second. I mean, your reactions were, were somewhat sturdy, but it's, you know, all the same. Now, if she gets on base, we're going to cough up a run here, so let's try and avoid that if we can. What? How are you? How is that allowed? Oh, you're allowed to run on a strike. Of course you are. Yeah, you've just got to make it to base. We should, we should have got her out. Oh, what a joker! Uh, yeah, no, I was, I was foxed there by the uh, uh, by the computer there, having a having a sensible move and getting away with it. Oh yeah, high and tight. Uh, that's your haircut there, lady uh, Beretta Triffids. Well, it's not. She's got nothing like. Oh dear, that's not good pitch. For this one, uh, can Zoltan get it done for us? He's feeling it. And we're away. They're going to go for home. And they dart. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. They, they got it anyway. All right. So we've uh, we've given up a run. Here's the professor. Uh, uh, part of me is tempted to nobble him. But of course, in doing so, I will nobble my own pitcher at the same time. And he is only a pitcher. He used to get decent hits for me. But that's that's largely meaningless. Des, don't, you don't need to be too complicated about it. Even if he does get a connection here, it's not going flipping miles. There you go. Yeah, it's all right. No, Professor, don't be down downhearted about that. You're a pitcher. I mean, what do you expect? Okay, so that will bring up Furious Spongebob for us uh, back in the lineup uh, after taking a couple of weeks off to, uh, to regather his thoughts. Have you regathered a good thought? Well, he has. I mean, it was a bit of a limp hit, but uh, but he got himself on base, and that's always a good place to start. Uh, Zoltan up next. Joint second for runs batted in. Uh, but, of course, the, the, the batting order really does uh, give you an advantage when it comes to the old RBIs. Strike one. Oh, okay, that was curious. Yep. Yep. No, safe. No chance. No, 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 no. You're not going to get us like that. Ball, Ball one. Okay. Zoltan, he's, uh, he's waiting for his moment. Oh, flip him. What a bit of fielding that was. Zoltan makes it on base, but we lose the runner. Uh, here's Big Steve. Um, I don't know what you'd say about Big Steve that hasn't already been said a thousand times. Other than uh, anything can happen when Steve Morris batting. Uh, sometimes, sometimes he'll knock it over the fence. Sometimes he'll get everybody out. No, Steve, Steve, that was not that was not your pitch, man. Not your pitch. Neither was that, if I'm honest. And you're going to be caught. But uh, frankly, yeah, yeah, that's, there you go, Steve Murray. He's uh, he's been, he's seen, he's left. Here's Paper Event Horizon. Uh, had a had a reasonably successful uh, a reasonably successful game last time. Uh, with his new lower down the batting order place, uh, even if we lost the game, well, you would you would potentially argue then that uh, that he wasn't that successful. No, I mean, in a, on a personal level, he was all right. Yeah, never mind a personal level. It, I don't care how in, well individual team members play, as long as the entire team wins. That's what we're here for. Ball three, and uh, and people really don't. I tell you, we haven't we haven't really put the mustard on any of these this evening, and uh, and that's that's a bit of a disappointment. Uh, but Bulldozer Power out there, and uh, the score is one to nothing in favour of the Stardozer Human Resources. Um, 
Yeah. Okay. It's it's not Stardozer, it's Colonel Space Agency. Well, that's all right. I figured that out by the third inning. You know, perhaps putting a putting a K on that rocket would sort it out. You've got two spaceship teams, you see. That's why you that's why you missed that. You'll already have sixteen comments going like you you named the team wrong. Oh well, that's just life. That is. It's this Colonel Space Agency. I'm reminding myself now so that I don't get it wrong. Uh, this is uh, this is Chuck Khan who just struck out. Yeah, yeah, you can be as hoofy as you like, love. Uh, you're done. Uh, is uh, is Dick Frisbee? Uh, nothing for him first time round, but uh, that's when Des was still fresh and feeling it. That one's got a spongy who uh, throws to first. Out number two. Good, good, good. Nice efficiency. Here's Valerie Hammock. Uh, coming off a off a double last time round, she's uh, sent that one skyward. Big Steve's calling for it. Oh, look at that! He got his glove up late as well. I just kind of went, "Yeah, I got it." Okay, well, three up, three down. Marvelous. Uh, Des Eyeliner is now going to have a uh, going to have a bat for us. It's too early in the game for him to sit down, so uh, we'll we'll just let him stand up. All right, Des. Actually, he's our best pitcher on paper. Uh, in reality, uh, in reality, who knows? But uh, well, not so much, maybe. Well, he hit it, I and mean, that's always a good place to stay. He's out, obviously. I mean, you know, that was pretty much a foregone conclusion. Here's Cindy, uh, round to the top of the batting order again. Uh, can she do anything this time round? Had a bit of a, a lackluster appearance last time. What's this inside business, Feetum? That one's not quite got the distance. Yeah, yeah, Triffids with a nice jumping. Triffids has done some great fielding today. Um, not for us, though, so we shouldn't be celebrating it, perhaps. Uh, here's Mr. On. Yep, gone. Okay, all right. Well, we, we three up, three down as well. And uh, at the end of three, it is still one to zero. Lemon, Kevin, uh, up next. Well, that's, uh, we're going we're gonna to need to find a way to score. And, uh, and I'm, I'm pretty sure I know the formula. Inside. You hit the ball enough times that someone can run all the way around the outside of the thingamajig uh, to, to get you a, a run. That's, that's how the scoring is conducted in this particular enterprise. It's a nice pitch. It's gone to Cindy. Cindy there. Lovely. All right, one away. Uh, here's Ingrid. Uh, got herself a double when she was first here. Is, uh, is she going to do, uh, do something similar this time? No, that's gone straight to Kojak, who will trot it in. Out number two. Now batting, the fielder, Here's Charlie Choo Choo. Uh, his, uh, his batting average has dropped by 0.07 since his last appearance. Where's that going? Des there, throwing it so wide that we weren't going to fool anybody. That one's in the dirt. Come on, Des. Come on, get your, get your aim on. That's better. Uh, it's gone a Furious. It's gone foul. Ah, pity. I think we might have had that, you know. Well, whether you think you had it or not, you didn't. Cindy again. Out number three. Okay, well, no damage done there. Uh, failures next up. And he's he's feeling a bit tense. Well, okay, well, that's not what you want to see. Not from your, uh, your leading score. Whoa, blimey, that was a late swinger. Why did we trade feet? And what the heck was I thinking? All right, well, failure managed to connect with one. He's swinging at everything. That was low. No, no, no. You've got to do better than that. That one was high. Failure swung out. He's going to be caught. Not a good way to start there. No. No, Feetum, I think, is in the zone at the moment. Uh, here's, uh, here's Malibu. Strike one. And, uh, and Feetum is proving to be quite challenging. If one of my batters were to smack him in the noggin... I wouldn't be uh, I wouldn't be overly disappointed. All right, Malibu with a nice long drive there that isn't quite long enough. Yeah, caught out by Ultramarines. Uh, here's Spongy. All right, Fury Sponge Bath. He's back in the mix. Uh, but uh, but so far we have failed to break through this uh, prowess of, of Professor Flip or whatever. Yeah, he's gone. No, I shouldn't have swung at that. I mean, you know, we got solid contact, but that was no, no, I should have left that one alone. Uh, here is Yuri's Ultramarine. She's uh, she's coming for her second go of the game. Strike one. There was a there was a terrible pitch, but uh, somehow it counted. 
That's no good either. Uh, but Steve Morris seeing some action again. Steve? Thank you. Out number one. Here's Beretta Triffids, the shortstop, uh, who is, I mean, let's be generous here, an appalling player who somehow gets results. Uh, her, her statistical dance card there showing that she really doesn't have much in the way of, uh, of attributes that one might find appealing in a baseball player. And, uh, but somehow she, she gets the job done, so it's not to be taken lightly. Beautiful pitch there to strike her out. Get gone. <laughs> Here comes the professor. Now, do we nobble him? Nope, just keep playing the game. Just, just keep playing the game. We don't need to nobble the professor. Uh, there is no animosity except to myself for trading him in the first place. Uh, he's a phenomenal pitcher and we're having trouble hitting what he's throwing. Strikeout. Yeah, and he looks as disappointed as he did last time around and he's gone. Uh, heading into the bottom of the fifth, it's Zoltan who's going to try and cut through uh, for Bulldozer Power. He's going to need to cut through because so far we haven't. No. I don't think we've even had two batters on base at the same time. As Zoltan's done enough. Going to get himself over it on second. He's going for second. He's, yeah, he's got it. He's got it. He's got it. He's got it. There you go. Zoltan with a two-base hit. Good way to start the inning. There. Uh, here's Big Steve. All right, Steve. Come on. You know it's hardware if you can't perform, son. And Steve puts it in a beautiful position. Uh, we're going for it all. And uh, Bulldozer Power tied up. Steve with a two base hit. And the two big men on the team there getting it done. Combining to put us a run in. Uh, that's the stuff. That's the business. That's what we like. Here's Papal Event Horizon. And, uh, and Bulldozer Power are uh, on offense. Not, uh, not particularly on offense. Yeah, you're out. Papal got in. But, uh, but no, uh, we lost Big Steve there. Big Steve's gone. It's a tragic loss to the baseball community. Uh, here's Des Island. No, 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 Des, leave that one. Never mind. Okay, all right. Next. Nah, don't fancy it. Really? That was a strike, was it? I don't believe you. Yeah, that one definitely wasn't. Come on, Feetum. Feetum's thrown 52 to the... Oh, dear, Des. Yeah, no, Fe Feetum's thrown 50 plus, so he's starting to get into the zone where you would think that his, his stamina would have start to wane a little bit. Uh, but he's hanging on in there so far. That was a nice pitch. In fact, you could just say that quite about most of these. That was a nice pitch as well. Yeah, you're gonna you're gonna struggle to hit these, you know. Cindy, no, she's done. Not a good day for Cindy Vapid. Not a good day at all. Uh, but uh, Bulldozer Power have tied it up now. Well, that's I mean that's something. Can they can they hang in there and perhaps take the win? Well, you've got some more baseball to play before you can answer that question. All right, well we'll play some baseball. Hyah! No, 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 no hyarging was done there. Uh, that one went foul. So did that one. That's good. Uh, you, you hit the first two foul, but then stop hitting them foul and get out. Booyah! Get off! Chuck a card there, struck out. And uh, an eyeliner's starting to rack up a few strikeouts in this game, which is uh, it's going to be good for his, uh, his ego and his, uh, his sense of self worth. Hatchet! Gets it, throws it, celebrates it. Claim that one. No, put that one in your album. Uh, that's an out. That one. Uh, here's Valerie Hammock. Had a double so far today, but uh, didn't do quite so well on a second at bat. There's ball one. Uh, Eyeliner now has also thrown over 50 pitches. He's uh, he's covered. That's his 60th. And uh, you would say his 60th probably not quite as good as his first. Uh, he still seems to have plenty of arm left though. So. Uh, so we'll stick with him for a bit longer. Strike one. Finally. We've thrown three balls already. Uh, Des, how about you concentrate a little bit? There's strike two. Okay. Yeah. Right. And that might be okay. Oh, it's a walk. Oh, well. Oh, it happens to the best of us. Or Desmond Eyeliner, whoever happens to be available. That one's gone skywards. Uh, Papal's in the area. He's, he's called for it. He's got it. And that's out number three. Okay, well, a, a, a probably a save there. You know that that uh, that could have that could have gone over. Here's Kojak. Over two today, much like Cindy, and uh, and it will be looking to uh, well anything. First pitch puts it away, and Kojak will get on base. Uh, that's more like it. 
Okay. All right. All right. I'm feeling good about this inning. His failure, much like Kojak and Cindy, has done nothing. Oh, uh, it, uh, Mr. On has pulled a hamstring. That's a big deal, and uh, I'm not entirely sure who will substitute him. Uh, meanwhile, failure with a nice hit. Is it nice? No, no, it's not nice. No, no, that was a bad hit. That wasn't that wasn't the kind of hit hit that you want uh, you, that you want to see there. Uh, let's go into substitutions, and uh, we'll sub out. Uh, yeah, oh dear, ouch. Uh, she's uh, she's done herself a mischief. Uh, we need a first baseman. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Well, McGurk is getting a second shot at life. Uh, we'll bring him in to run for uh, uh, for the wounded uh, Kojak Mister on. Solid, solid. Hatch it, putting one away. This is good stuff, and we're going to go again. Going for two. And uh, goes for it all, and gets the run. Beautiful work there. Uh, a nice, nice bit of running off a good hit, and Bulldozer Power have taken the lead for the first time today. Uh, here's Sponge Bath, and it's a good one. Go on, go on, go on, go on, go on, floor it. Go on, Spongy. That's it. And another two base hits. Uh, knocks us in a second run, uh, and I think we now have broken the Professor's will. Here's Zoltan. Okay. Only one out, Bulldozer Power leading 3-1, to one, runner on second. The big man, Zoltan, you don't remember, he's, he is largely responsible for us having a, our, our first score. That's ball three. And uh, Zoltan gets a walk. Feetum is, uh, is wavering a little. Uh, his big Steve. Come on, Steve. We gently does it there, Professor. Come on. I mean, I know we're making you look foolish now, but uh, but how about you hold it together? No, no, we're not going anywhere. You're all right. All right, come on. Car, Steve. Ball three. Steve is uh, he's just sat in there waiting for it. Puts a good one. Is it? No. Oh, it required a sound piece of fielding, that one, but uh, no, it wasn't. No, Steve Morrie there. Uh, he's out. That forced a papal event horizon to try and capitalise on the two runners that we've got at the moment. Um, yeah, no, dead. They are not trusting Spongebath, who's, uh, who's looking quite uh, lively over there on second. He's not going anywhere. I don't do base stealing. That's not my... It's not my jam. Uh, ball one. That's ball two. 70 pitches now for Feetum. Strike one. That was well low. Ball three. Uh, we're waiting for it. Take your base. And that's a walk. Bases are now loaded. And uh, up to bat is Dez Eyeliner. <laughs> no, it isn't. Uh, he's uh, he's going to have a sit because we're not going to... Tr we're we're going to try and avoid missing out on this. Do we bring in Hammock? Uh, Mephisto. Mephisto's got good contact. She does have good contact. I think we bring in Mephisto. Yeah. Hammock's got the power, though. I'm just leaving you a couple of seconds there to hum that to yourself. Crampons has got all the power, but none of anything else. And then you've got hardware. No. <laughs> what are you even talking about? We're going to bring Lim Mephisto. Lim Mephisto. She doesn't get to play very often. And we'll find out why in a moment. Let's strike one. Okay. All right. Come on, Lin. Is, is it good enough? It's good enough. Lin gets on base. We possibly could have got two runs off that, but we didn't. Because, you know, let's not chance it. Uh, that brings Cindy round. Well, I mean, from here on in, we're just... Uh, if we get out, we're just throwing points away. Let's not do that. No, let's let's try and score the points. Strike one. One ball, one strike. Cindy Vapid. Ball two. Okay, come on. Bit late on that one for Cindy, and she's out. Uh, okay, well, we... we and it happened. All right, bring in a conservative. Um, well, three runs there for Bulldozer Power, and in the space of two innings, they have brought themselves not only level but into the lead. And uh, we've got a fresh, we've got a fresh pitcher. Let's uh, let's see what we can do about this. Well, what can you say about uh, 
Jeff Conservative that we haven't said a thousand and one times. I think I already used that line of commentary, but it feels appropriate. We have spoken about Jeff Conservative, Conservative a lot, um, but uh, we'll probably continue to do so because he is the man. Yeah, yeah, go away. Uh, right, here's Charlie Choo Choo. He's yet to have a hit today, and uh, well, he's he's going to need to if the team are in with a chance of winning. Do the same again. Yeah, you see, the, that's the thing. Random pitches. That's what you need. You need random pitches to try and catch these people out. Otherwise, the old, uh, the old smart wizards there, they, they kind of learn what you do. And that's, not, that's not what you're about at all. And, uh, well, Jeff. Oh, it's gone. Two up, two struck out. Jeff is, uh, is making, making the day for himself there. He's, uh, he's putting his uh, mark on everything. Uh, largely Mori's glove at the current time. And, uh, but well, we're going to try and keep that up. Ultramarines. She's popped that one skyward. Big Rod is uh, he's in the region. Rod, thank you. And the side is retired. Okay. Uh, seventh inning stretch. Go on, do it. Sing the tune. Good. I'm glad you did that. Uh, Rod is now up to bat. Now, he, uh, he sacrificed his place in the lineup last week after playing really, really badly. Uh, there's not too much pressure on him right now, but let's see if he can uh, uh, start striding the path to redemption, given that he's likely to be in next week if uh, if Mr. Ron has not recovered. Uh, too early, Rod. No, you, you need to wait for it. Yeah, all right, he's gone. Yeah, he has. But, I mean, you know, what do you expect from him? I mean, you've got reliable batters who are getting out all the time. Speaking of which... Is uh, is failure? He's he's yet to have uh, an on-base moment today. He'd like one. And if you were to ask him what he'd got on his birthday list, he'd kind of go, "I'd quite like to get on base if it's all right with you." And there he is. Your birthday wish is granted," said the blue fairy. And uh, as way, uh, Hatchet Malibu uh, batted a run in last time around, breaking the deadlock. And Feetum is done. They're bringing in Rudy Trembles to uh, uh, to substitute. Relieve, I think, is the way that the uh, the Americans like to describe it. Well, yeah, but if I relieve something, it usually involves a bathroom. Oh, tricky! And it was tricky enough as well. Uh, sent a little bobbler there up to uh, up to second base, and it was enough to get everybody in. Uh, he's furious. We've got uh, one out. Runners at first and second. And, uh, and furious is uh, he's looking for it. But he's, uh, he's not looking too eagerly. Strike one. Yeah, rubbish. That was too high. Furious. He's done enough. And, uh, and Billy Peer going for it. And have another run. Boom. Shakalaka. Is what we say in these parts. Rather more often than we would be comfortable with. Having a few more exclamations of, uh, of a job well done. Certainly wouldn't go amiss. But you know what? Uh, people people respond well to, uh, to to repeated words and phrases. That's everybody out. Good job. Well done. No, no, splendid. I have Zoltan there. That hosed it up for all of us. Well, no Christmas card for Zoltan. Uh, but it is now 5-1 to one in favour of Bulldozer Power. And, uh, and so far, the Colonel Space Program haven't looked particularly deadly. Uh, but uh, there's time left. There's always time left. They need. They only need one out available, and uh, and there is time left for them to make a difference. Uh, this is Beretta Triffids, who is uh, who is facing down the professor to see what she can uh, do about it. Can she do anything about it? Is is doing something about it within her uh, wheelhouse, her kit bag? Does she have that club on her back? Uh, it's very hard to say what, exactly what I'm talking about. Failure is in the mood. Has it? Here's a pitcher. Rudy really Trembles. They're taking him out straight away. That's a mistake. Should keep him in. Yeah, I know you need the runs, but at the same time, you need a good pitcher. Uh, King Providence is going to come in to pinch it. And, uh, well, let's see if this was, a, this was a good decision or not. If he gets out, it was a bad decision because you, you burned a, pi a pitcher. Jeff goes, cheers. I'll just chuck that one a big rod. 
and it's gone. It's out of here. It's history. That's a moment that's passed now. Uh, here's Olivia. Uh, she's uh, she's looking for something here to try and get the team motivated. Strike one. That, uh, Jeff, what a belter of a pitch that was. Uh, strike two. Same again. Or one of those. One of those. All right, okay. We always try and use uh, a tricky dicky pitch on third. There you go. See, sometimes you've got to put a non tricky dicky pitch in there. Uh, King Providence is going. And uh, Kimberly Freightmaster is in now. Uh, she's going to be trying to do some pitching. And uh, based on her stat sheet, not a great pitcher. No. This uh, is Steve Morrie. He's, uh, he's got himself a hit today, which is solid. And he got a run for his trouble as well. Alright, Steve. Don't like that one. Steve. Do like that one. Too early, Steve. She hadn't got much much steam coming off that one. That was too early again, Steve. Steve, wait for it and then slap it over the fence. It's not exactly what I had in mind, Steve. No. I'd, was that over the fence, Steve? No, it wasn't. Why don't you just do what I sell you? You know, I don't always tell you to put it over the fence. Oh, there. Papal there, swinging at a sinker. Um, and uh, and he shouldn't have. But he did anyway, and it was a bad thing to do. Uh, ball two, strike one. Ball three. Freightmaster struggling to find the target a little. And uh, Papal's going to stroll it. I say stroll. He's doing that man on the moon bouncy run deal thing. Uh, here's Jeff. Obviously, we're going to let him back. We've got nothing to lose at this point. Uh, it's probably going to be a double play coming up. So, uh, you know, brace yourselves for that. Uh, come on, Jeff. Come on. Come on. Jeff Conservative puts one deep ish. Not deep enough, but deep-ish. Uh, and uh, and his history. Uh, 0 for 4 today, it's Cindy Vapid. She is not on her game, but maybe this is the at-bat that makes a difference. That's solid. That's very solid. She's going to double off this. It's going to be a close... No, it's... Go again. That's it. Uh, an error in, uh, in pitching, uh, in fielding, whatever it is. Uh, Cindy batting in a run there. Gets a double off it. Is Big Rod. All right, Cindy making an appearance that counted late in the day, but it, but it all counts. Doesn't matter how late in the day it is. Ball two. Freightmaster was possibly not the best choice of pitcher here. Um, I mean, far from me to criticise. I, I make dubious choices all the time. Like that, for example. All right, well, that's out number three. Uh, but another run for BDP, and uh, it's a late surge for them. Uh, leaving... Uh, Leaving me the, the Colonel Space Program requiring five here at the top of the ninth. Well, I mean, I don't think it's going to happen, but at the same time, let's let's not rest on what laurels we have. Ball two. Jeff's a little bit off target at the moment. Trying to be too clever. There you go. Jeff, just do the simple stuff that usually works, right? Okay, that's all you really need to do. That's it. About that. That's nice. Good times, uh, Jeffrey. Great pitch. Papal, 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 papal. Thank you. You're up. All right, that's out number one. Here's Valerie Hammock. And uh, I know, she's uh, got her little feet and her little self. No, that's, that's ball one. Jeff there, not quite dealing with it uh, perfectly. Straight down the middle. Catch it, Malibu. Not even close. All right, okay, well, they got on base there. Steady. Breathe. Stay calm. Let's uh, let's preserve the lead that we have here because uh, we don't want to lose the lead that we have here because that would be bad. That one's Skyward. Jeff's calling for it. And that's out number two. Okay, well, it falls to Ingrid Matrix to try and save something for the team here. And uh, Jeff is going to try and pick her off as quickly as possible. Strike one, lovely. Uh, pick off is typically something done at a base, you know, but uh, but it doesn't really matter. Whatever you call it, there we go. This will go for the traditional. All right, yeah, something like that. Yeah, there it is. And Jeff Conservative puts the team away. A fantastic pitching performance from him, and uh, and a good dig deep come from behind uh, for the remainder of the team uh, to give Bulldozer Power a bounce back win. They needed it. Uh, the, the, the play hadn't been quite as successful of late, uh, but uh, there it is. No, it's there. It is there. 
Here it is. There it is. It is all there for you to see in numbers on a chart. It's not even a chart. No, it's not. It's a table. It is a table. Uh, anyway, uh, Eyeliner gets the win with a save attributed to Jeff Conservative. Uh, it's all good stuff. Uh, Professor Feetum chalking up a loss. Good. Should have stuck with the winning team, son. Your three stars of the day. Fury Sponge Bath with two runs batted in. Uh, Desmond Eyeliner and, and Jeff Conservative uh, getting star prowess there because they pitched up a storm. Well, we've got uh, seven games to simulate, so we will do. First up, you have the Ob City Axemen on five and three so far this season against the Wretched Minstrels. Uh, Dave Caustic, Mina Failure, and uh, Chunk Flunkerson uh, for the Axemen. We'll be hoping to uh, to give them another win. Uh, the Axemen off to a very nice start, putting in six, and that's good enough. They've taken the victory, uh, taken them to the top of the whoop whoop division at the moment. But we'll do the divisional roundup at the end, obviously. Uh, the Sports Ball Union with starting pitcher Sebastian Gavelbanger uh, are taking on the Sunshine Fun Bus. Uh, the Sports Ball Union yet to really play well this season. Um, I mean, it, it, you possibly shouldn't have. Oh, okay, they won a game. All right, I'll take it back. No, whatever I was going to say about them that was bad and wrong would have been wrong and bad. Uh, Cheerio Inc. taking on the Erg Melon Flex Chroniclers, and it is Moolawab the Verbose who is, uh, who is pitching. I mean, look at that beard hair combo going on for Moolawab. He does look uh, the business. Uh, Cheerio Inc., of course, will be hoping to deal with him by, with Marcel Purpose, uh, Buttercup Porkchop. I'm not sure entirely it is Buttercup. It might be Butterfly. It's uh, it's something pork chop anyway, and uh, and Terry Partisan. Look, I try and memorise all the names. I mean, I I invented them, uh, but uh, sometimes you can't. Cheerio Inc. won that one. Uh, the uh, the Chroniclers, the worst team in the league. The Red Star Pathfinders are taking on the undefeated Beekeepers, and uh, Picasso Middle Eight will be pitching for them today. Uh, Shamrock Bubble Jet, of course, plays for the Beekeepers these days. Yeah, I know, he used to play for us. Yeah, he did. Oh, that's why I move these players around, you know, so that they can have a life beyond their bulldozer powerdom. Um, but, but uh, oh, it's a, it's a close one. Finished in nine, nine, nine to seven there. And the beekeepers take their first loss uh, to the Pathfinders. Dramatic, dramatic times. Failwood Hills are taking on the Steganauts, both teams currently mid table. And, uh, and hoping to do something late in the season to uh, to try and make sure that they're going to uh, make a post-season appearance. Of course, you say late in the season. We haven't hit halfway yet. Uh, the Nomads taking on the Medics. Jup Cortex pitching for the Nomads. And uh, Dr. Good Surgery uh, for the Medics as their opening pitcher. Uh, the Nomads get that one done, though. And that's, uh, that keeps their dream alive. Oh, yeah. It's a dream worth dreaming, too. Uh, the Lingo Blend All-Stars are taking on Peninsula Transports. And uh, the transport team are off to an early lead. Uh, it's it's neck and neck stuff, though. Oh, I went to extra innings and Peninsula eventually winning it. So in our next game, we will be taking on Stardozer Human Resources. Not to be confused. See, they've got the word Stardozer as their logo. You see, that might make it slightly easier to uh, to spot. True. Uh, Bulldoze power on seven and two at the moment. Stardozer on on six and three. A good close game is potentially something. Um, Wood chipper. Stardozer are tied for the lead with Colonel School. Uh, in bombastic Bulldozer power are a game ahead of Peninsula Transport. Uh, as mentioned before, in the Whoop Whoop division, the Off City Axemen are top of the table. Uh, but the Failwood Hills team are snapping at the heels. Uh, in the Sloganator, it is still the Beekeepers in charge, but the Wretched Minstrels are two games back, three games back. They're a couple of games back. There are some games. They are back by those number of games. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, this is the Electro Sports Baseball B. The baseball thing. Yeah, good. This is all sounding pretty slick up until just now. I'll catch you next time. Thanks for watching. Cheerio.